bet you didn't know that Excel has almost all the same features as PowerPoint. This behind me, not PowerPoint, this is all 100% Excel. And this is all possible because Excel has layers, and we can use these layers to start building more complex designs. We can stack shapes, images, text right on top of each other, just like we do in PowerPoint. In fact, you can literally copy paste your PowerPoint designs into Excel. And I think the important lesson we can learn from this is that you have to think about how you communicate when you get your data out of cells and into visuals, text boxes, and a presentation format. When you make a PowerPoint, you think about how you're communicating with your audience. You you think about if there's too much data, how you structure the data, if you need more context, if your audience is even going to understand what you're saying to them. But for some reason when people get into Excel they just forget about all of that. They just drop a table or a chart in front of their audience without any thought, and there's no consideration given to whether or not you're going to keep your audience's interest, if they're going to care about what you're showing them or even understand it. Essentially your audience doesn't know your data the way you do. They probably need some guidance, they probably need some hand holding, and they probably need to be interested in what you show them in the first place. And, and it really shocks me to see like hundreds if not thousands of comments on my videos from analysts saying how none of this is necessary, you should just put the data in front of people. It's just a fundamental misunderstanding about how people engage with, understand, and integrate data into how they actually operate. It is absolutely worth taking the time to learn a little bit of basic design principles in a system like Excel or any other BI tool you're using. Think about what you can do to make your audience actually care about what you're showing them. It's frankly one of the easiest ways to make your work stand out. And if you have questions about any of this, or you just want copies of all of the stuff that you've seen in my videos, just head over to my account. You can click through and get the uh, the newsletter templates. Just gives you something to look at, an actual file to work with and pull apart. Makes it a lot easier to learn. Okay, thank you everybody. Have a good one. Gummy and I say bye.